Well, hi there, this is Bill Prankard, and I'm so happy I can be with you for just a few moments today with really good news. You know, I think many of us have thought, if only I could have been in the Garden of Eden with Adam, when every day God came down and walked with him and talked with him, I can't imagine how wonderful that would be. Or Enoch, who just walked with God and then one day was not because God took him. Or the disciples, wow. I'm sure all of us have thought, wouldn't it have been neat to spend three years with Jesus, walking with him, talking with him, some even leaned on him, his breast, they could touch them, they could, I mean, they ate with him, they lived with him, and uh, they knew him really, really well. And I think, you know, we say, well, wouldn't that have been really neat? And then, you know, um, we see what Jesus did, and even the miracles the disciples did in the in book of Acts, and we think, oh man, if only we could do that. Well, the scripture says we're gonna do more than that. We're gonna do greater than that. And it was 50 years ago um, this year that I went to Catherine Kuhlman's, and you know, it wasn't really an encounter with her that I had. I had an encounter with Holy Spirit. It changed my life. And in that moment when he came to me, I realized I didn't know him. I had met him. He'd given me a wonderful gift of baptism, but I didn't pursue him. He wasn't my friend. And then I read in uh, John chapter 14, Jesus said, I'm not going to leave you orphans. I'm not going to leave you alone. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send another just like me, and he's going to be with you. It's going to be better, he said, than it is with me, because I'm only here in one place at one time, but he's going to be not with you. He's going to be in you. I mean, you can't get any closer than that. And then Jesus said, you'll know him, because he will live with you. Wow. Wow. You know what I discovered? When I had that encounter 50 years ago, and said, you know, I don't know you, but I'm going to give my life to pursuing you. That was the best decision I ever made. That was the greatest thing that ever happened in my life, honestly, because it just started me on this pursuit that I'm still on. The Apostle Paul said that when he received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, he spent three and a half years out in the desert, learning about the Spirit, wanting to know the Spirit. Everything that happened in his ministry, through his ministry, all his writings, the churches, his travels, everything came out of that experience, that relationship with Holy Spirit. I discovered the same thing, that when you want to see people healed and you pursue healing, it's hit and miss. But when you pursue him, the healer, people just get healed. When you pursue him, who's everything, miracles happen ministry happens. I look back at the last 50 years and all that's happened across the Arctic or throughout the earth. The people that have been healed and touched. Just read this morning of a lady just saying thank you that I was in your service and my son and I came to Christ and we're serving him. And I, I get these almost daily. And it's all because of my relationship with him. Anointing isn't force, power, it's something. It, it's a relationship with Holy Spirit. The good news is that through Holy Spirit, you can have exactly the same experience that Adam had when he walked with God in the garden. He wants to walk with you every day and talk with you. He'll talk to you through so many ways, primarily through his word. He'll speak to you through his word. He wrote the Bible and he'll speak to you through the word and explain it. He'll, he'll, he'll minister to you in so many amazing ways. You will literally feel his love. He wants to live with you. Through Holy Spirit, you can have the same relationship that Enoch had when he just walked with God, was not. When, when Moses, a friend of God, talked to God face to face, I mean, amazing, amazing. Abraham had the same experience. Friends of God gives you... I mean, authority and, and privileges that you could never attain any other way. And I'm here to tell you, the experience that you can have with God through Holy Spirit is so much better on such a higher level than the disciples had. Because Jesus would slip away and they would miss him. Holy Spirit will never leave you, never forsake you. And Jesus said, you're going to do greater works than I do because I send. 
Holy Spirit. I send another. He's not going to leave you alone. You are not alone. You're never alone. I want you to practice the presence of Holy Spirit today. Just, just take time to in worship and prayer, just be alone. Just let him come. He wants to come to you. He wants to be close to you. Wherever you go, he goes. You are walking with him. You're talking with him. Some of my favorite times of the day are when I just go out walking with him, just him and I. It is so, so good. And I got to tell you, that, that not only is good news, that is the best news. Today, I want you to make the decision I made 50 years ago. Holy Spirit, I'm going to give my life to pursue you. Now, you'll never get there. You'll never get, <laughs> like Paul said at the end of his ministry, towards the end of his ministry, he said, I want to know you in the power of his resurrection. There's so much more. I woke up this morning thinking, oh God, there's so much more. I'm only just beginning. And so I challenge you today to make the decision that he is going to be your best friend. And he wants to be. That's the miracle and that's the good news. And so in Jesus' name, I speak blessing over you. And I pray Holy Spirit will come and just envelop you today. God bless you. You will have a good day.